All right, my name is Travis with The Modern Bay Company. Uh, we specialize in doing Subaru conversions into 1968 to 1979 Volkswagen buses, and we use the 2000 to 2004 Subaru platform, namely the EJ25 platform. Uh, this video series is all about the wiring harness, doing a wiring harness conversion. So if you watched the last video um, or one of our prior videos on how to pull your harness from the car, you're sitting here hopefully with, like I am, uh, with a harness that's ready to strip down and get, get ready for the next uh, stage in the process. So I call this video getting undressed. Basically, we're taking this harness, we're cutting all the electrical tape off of it, all the sheathing, um, getting it down to the bare wires. Uh, and then there's going to be a lot of orphaned wires, wires that are just hanging out, not connected to anything that you don't need. And so we're going to get rid of those wires. I've got a trash can over here <laughs> ready for all those wires. And then at the end of this video, we'll be ready for the next step, uh, which is actually going to be um, starting to do the conversion on the harness itself. So follow along and let's dive right in. All right, so first things first, we're gonna cover the tools that you guys will need for this job. Uh, it's pretty basic. Um, I usually kind of cover a big long list. Um, you don't need the whole big long list most of the time. Like for this, uh, you could do with a razor blade, some scissors and uh, your fingies. <laughs> so you can peel all this stuff off peel it back and get ready. Um, but if you've got the guide, the Modern Bay Company guide, uh, that shows you just step-by-step step, um, how to do this, every single piece and part you need, it's got uh, blow-ups, diagrams, all that stuff in it. Um, and especially as we get into the next steps, um, it's got the, the pinouts and all that stuff, uh, the appropriate sections of the factory service manual in there. So um, if you don't have that, it's a good idea to have it, but regardless, follow along and we'll dive right in. Um, but the biggest tools of the trade here, We've got our little wire cutters, uh, I need those. Uh, scissors, I took a Dremel and blunt tipped this bottom one so that if I'm going in under the tape, um, I don't actually accidentally nick a wire or anything like that. Um, I've got this little razor blade and I only keep the razor blade out just a tidge uh, so that if I'm going over the sheathing, it's not gonna cut through the sheathing, it's just gonna cut the electrical tape around it. So need that guy. Um, I also have tape. Um, to tape different bundles together. Some people use a little plastic clamps. Those are great too. Um, and another thing that is included in the Modern Bay Company kit, uh, if you have that, are labels. Um, and so these are all the labels for uh, all the different wires that you're actually gonna need for your final, final converted harness. Uh, you can use a Sharpie and tape and label the wires that way too. Either way, obviously works totally fine. Um, just, it's kind of easy to have those labels. So that's, that's sort of nice. Uh, and then as we get into the next steps, we've got wire crimpers, uh, wire strippers, stuff like that. But for now, for this video, really that's all you need. This is pretty straightforward. So we're just gonna dive in here and get to it. All right, here's an overview of what you need. This is all the junk we didn't need. So if you're working on the 2000 to 2005 harness, um, we've got fuel pump, we've got main relay, uh, fuel pump relay, main relay, OBD2 port, alternator harness, uh, the oxygen sensor extension harness for the downstream sensor. We've got our three main connectors. We've got that ground uh, junction right there. We've got our two engine harness connectors, our two oxygen sensors, and then our diagnostic test connectors. And that's what you need. Uh, now we're gonna go from here and keep paring it down and throw all this stuff in the trash. Okay, so I got a couple of quick tips for why you're doing this. So one, if you're on the sheathing uh, part right here, you can take your razor blade and just set it to a shallow depth and you can just cut that electrical tape right off of it. Um, and same if you get this stuff, you can cut the electrical tape, cut through just that top layer very gently. Once you do, you'll be able to start peeling that back 
and we can probably go all the way over here if I've gotten that cut through enough. We go all the way over here. Nope, not quite. Let me get my scissors under there. Get that started. Anytime you use your scissors, just be careful not to get the wires in there. So you can just start peeling the sheeting back. If you need to get the scissors in there, again, just slip them right in, but don't cut those wires. And then, yeah. so anytime you get resistance like that, stop for a second. All right, so that's a tip there. Um, and then also, I and mean, maybe this goes without saying, but for this kind of stuff, you can unwrap that wire or again, you can just kind of gently peel up that electrical tape, cut it, you know, and do it like that. So uh, really there's no wrong, well, there's a wrong way to do this. The wrong way is cutting into the wires and leaving lots of nicks and cuts. you really leaving any nicks and cuts in your wires. So don't do that, but as long as you don't do that, you'll be good to go. Boom, there we go. This sheathing is usually kind of, it's glued together. So you gotta find the seam, peel it back, like so. And then when you get to a point where it won't peel, get your scissors in there, get that electrical tape, boom. Some people save these, sometimes I like to. Uh, you can if you want, or you can toss them because we're gonna wrap the whole harness again later anyway. So yeah, this is just kind of a detailed shot of what it looks like to be working on stripping the harness down. It's tedious work. It's best done <laughs> watching a show, listening to music, whatever. Um, I left this on there, we don't need it, so I'm going to clip it off down there so we don't have to even mess with that stuff either. And then I'm going to pop this uh, OBD2 port out of its uh, little holder there because we don't need that either. So let me go ahead and clip these guys. And then I need a screwdriver. Pop that guy out. Definitely need this guy, so keep it. And obviously this goes to nowhere, or you know, it did go uh, to the connector we cut off. So we're gonna cut that there so we don't have to unwrap that stuff. Same here. Anything you don't have to unwrap is gonna save you time. Same here. Um, but we are getting down to it. We almost have this harness ready to get all the orphaned wires out. Just a quick checkpoint here. Uh, as you can see over here and in the uh, up high shot, we've just got a rainbow now. We've got wires everywhere. All the sheathing, all the electrical tape uh, is off. And what we need to do now is get rid of all the orphaned wires that are just hanging out, not connected to anything. So there's no real science to this. It's just find some wires, find a wire that is not connected to anything, and then just start kind of there's one right there, just fell out. Um, start kind of pulling them gently and you'll know pretty quickly if they're not connected to anything like this one because we just gently pulled on it and it came right out. You'll know pretty quick um, by the feel of it, but all this, you can toss it in the trash um, or you can keep it to the side and make a wig out of it later. That looks pretty cool. Uh, whatever you do with it, Obviously it doesn't matter because we want what's left of the harness uh, that will help us run our Subaru conversion. So uh, I'm just going to keep moving forward with the process here and get rid of all these orphaned wires. That's not one. All right. Oh, 
Uh, one more quick thing. I've got all my labels here. Um, so if you have done this before or if you're familiar enough to know as you're going through it, oh, this is this thing, this is this wire, use your labels. That was weird. <laughs> or um, you can go back and do this later as well uh, once you get the pin out and start identifying things. So some of these guys here, like there's a big ground circuit that goes just everywhere. So you'll get some big clumps like that. But a lot of it is just grabbing two, three wires at a time, shaking the tree, and seeing if it's connected. All right, the ones that are connected to things, you want to start getting organized here about what you're doing with them. So all the ECM connections, I'm going to make start, start to make going off that way. Sometimes you can grab five or six of these guys at a time and shake them out. Sometimes you can't. That's why this process is just a bit tedious. And then of course, when you find one like this, it connects somewhere, you gotta pull it out and lay it in the appropriate spot. All right, <laughs> so this step, super important, especially if you have kids. <laughs> uh, this is, there's so much wire that you take off of this harness. So uh, it's, it still just never ceases to amaze me. I can't do this with a straight face. <laughs> it still never ceases to amaze me. Uh, once you start calling down the harness and stripping out all this stuff, I mean, you end up, <laughs> oh my gosh. You end up with a huge ball. That's not even all of it. That was about half of it. You end up with this huge ball of wires. Um, something like that. And you're done. Uh, and then I'm going to do a detail shot of the harness here. But uh, based on what we had, there is so little left. And almost everything that's left, we're going to need. Uh, so the next step in the next video is going through uh, the remainder of the harness here. Uh, cleaning it up, labeling everything, um, connecting things as appropriate, um, and getting this guy ready to actually run. So here's the final shot um, after this phase is done. So if you can hang this up on a wall, um, get a big uh, four by eight uh, board, which I'm gonna do for the upcoming harnesses, just to make it a little cleaner. Um, it's a little bit easier to see and understand, and you can label the wall and stuff like that. So, but for now, we've got our two engine connectors, uh, if you have wires like this uh, that no longer went anywhere on the remainder of the harness, um, I wrap them up, put them with that guy. We've got our oxygen sensor connectors. We've got that guy. And then if we come over here, we've got our main relay. Uh, we've got one wire that was um, that will need to be reconnected um, once we get to that point. And then if we follow along, we've got our diagnostic uh, test connectors right there. And then... Um, this is, uh, these were wires that were coming from the OBD2 port um, and uh, no longer going anywhere. So we'll have to reconnect those to the appropriate place uh, where they go. And then we've got our fuel pump relay right here. Again, a couple wires, so we tape those off um, just to keep everything cleaned up a little bit. And then finally, of course, we've got our three main connectors going to the ECM. And we had a lot of wires um, that end up um, going nowhere. And so the next step is gonna be looking at the pinout, seeing what we need um, and making it go to the correct locations and then um, depinning or just stubbing off what we don't need uh, for those ECM wires. So again, here's the overview of what it looks like at this phase. And we will move on to the next one.
So that's that for this segment of the Subaru wiring harness conversion. We've got our harness stripped down, uh, undressed, and ready to start labeling, connecting, um, paring down a little bit further for the things that we just don't need um, so that we're one step closer to you turning that key and finding your next adventure in your bay window bus. Thanks for watching.